you know, the thing about football, you can't dwell for long. A case of uh, getting back on the horse as quickly as possible, go to Wickham on Saturday and hopefully show a response. Yeah, really tough, challenging game. Um, obviously, really, really disappointed with last night and the manner of the defeat. Um, unacceptable and we can only apologise and, and strive to be better. Um, as I said, really challenging game on Saturday. Um, we have to make sure that we're a lot better than what we were on Wednesday. When people's backs are against the wall, and now that's been the case here in the not too recent past, you tend to come out fighting. I'm sure that's a response you'll be looking for. Yeah, look, even my short tenure here, we've we've faced some challenging times, we've faced some difficult times, but we've always come up with the answers. And I think sometimes football is so emotional that you can be embroiled on, on the face of one result when really some perspective and, and how far we've come in a short space of time. You know, we're 11th in League One now and we've got an opportunity to get ourselves back in the top half on Saturday. We must make sure we be better than, than what we were on Wednesday. Do the basics well. You know, Wickham are going to challenge everything that you know we've struggled against recently with you know, physical direct teams and, and not standing up and be counted. That's going to be tested on Saturday and we have to be better at it. I'm sure it goes without saying the players will be hurting themselves. I'm sure equally you'll yeah. be asking for things of them, but I'm sure they're, they're keen to give it of themselves as well. Yeah, look, I mean... You know, fundamentally, I'm the leader of the football department, and I have to take full responsibility. And I will, as I said, I'm. I was distraught with last night. Um, not had much sleep, um, and very apologetic. But we have to now refocus and make sure our league campaign takes off again. We had a good result against Crew in the last league fixture, and we have to make sure we go there and and give a better account of ourselves than what we did last night. I know preparations haven't been ideal, eh, time-wise, extra time, but equally you're still missing a few bodies potentially a little tricky on that. I suppose the big one noticeable last night was MJ Williams and, and Owen weren't available. Any update on those? Uh, I mean, it's going to go down to the wire. We've got quite a few injuries at the moment and a si significant amount of illness in camp. Um, you know, It's going around at the moment and we seem to be suffering. But as I said, it's not an excuse. We have to adapt and overcome and we'll do the best we can on Saturday. And just one final on the injury front. Josh Sheehan came off a little bit of concern last night. Is that any clearer today or a bit early? He's gone for a scan. His knee feels unstable, um, which is a worrying thing. As I said, we'll, we'll wait to see the outcome of that today. Just lastly, not always easy to try and see the bigger picture, but as you alluded to there, the club's come an awful long way. I know you won't look to the past because it's about what happens going forward, but as you say, perspective sometimes comes in handy and, uh, and keeping the faith a little bit on, on what you've, you've built. Yeah, I mean, we've, we have come a long way. I think this stage last season, we were 20th in League Two, we're now, as I said, 11th in League One. Um, it doesn't make last night acceptable or right, though. I've got to stress that it was it was very poor, and, and we have to be better. But also some perspective of of where we've come from and what we're trying to do here. Rome wasn't built in a day, and it takes time. Um, we're developing the club on and off the pitch every day, um, trying to move forwards every day. And sometimes we're going to have knocks and we're going to hit bumps in the road. But it's about how we re-stabilise and go again, and that's certainly something we're trying to do. And Wickham, a club everyone thinks highly of, a manager who you know very well is a good pl player and a good person, but they've had to do from themselves, gone out of the cup to Hartlepool, lost three in a row at home. Yeah. It can happen to anybody, and it'd be interesting to see who can sort of bounce back on Saturday. As I said, no one's, no one's, everyone's in the same boat, really. You look at Sunderland as well, on a poor run of form, big football club. Wickham, just been relegated from the Championship, had a dodgy spell. It happens to all football clubs, and it's about how you keep your focus, keep your calm, um, keep your counsel, and, and go again.